Cora said you'd been to the doctor earlier. I wondered why. To find something for my hay fever. And what will be used for a day nursery, should the need arise? I think we can worry about that a little further down the line. If you're one of the many global fans of the acclaimed show Downton Abbey, you'll recognize that last clip immediately. Now there's a chance for diehard fans to live out some royal dreams. Auction House Christie's is hosting an online-only auction that offers fans a chance to bid on 12 items, including dinner at High Clear Castle, where the show is set. Joining us now with more details on this, we're very lucky to be joined by someone who actually lives in High Clear Castle, Lady Fiona Carnarvon. Welcome, Lady Carnarvon. Tell us about this charity auction and what are some of the items up for bidding? What is it benefiting as well? Well, thank you very much. It's on the back of a huge First World War Commemoration Day we had on Sunday. And we had seven, 8,000 people with us on the day and we were reflecting on what people had done for us in the past. And the theme of it was to turn it around and try and understand what we could do to help people today. And that's victims of war in many different guises. So through Oxfam, we hope to help people in Syria or Gaza and through various military charities, veterans who have fought for us and maybe lead a different life, maybe have been injured, maybe are homeless. So it was for a collection of charities on the day. And this is the online part of it. And Christie's have been amazing to make it, take it on board and um, curate the whole thing for us. So. Mm. I came up with 12 prizes, which I hope people might want to bid for. And Christie's then simply going to donate the money to worldwide charities. Okay, so the Downton Abbey show is a global hit. Since the show has premiered, have you seen an impact in the people coming to visit High Clear Castle? Well, we're certainly full of visitors when we're open. And when I left today, there would have been about 1,600 visitors. But we're not open every day. It's still our home. It's our family home. So I thought I'd read somewhere that one thing most people wanted to do was stay at Highclere Castle. So I thought, let's use that and ask people to bid for it online and give the money to charities in return for staying with us the night. And the same with a dinner. Or I've also got an auction prize of coming for a private tour and learning up from our butlers about how to set the table, which I thought was a fun <laughs> one. Or I've got picnics or walks in the park. I tried to come across 12 different ideas with different prices. So different people with different pockets might kindly help in all around the world. And it was a way of, in holiday time, sharing it at a time of great need when all we read about is the devastation to people's lives in Syria, for example, or around Gaza, or in Iraq, and indeed in the US for the military veterans there. And I've been lucky enough to meet some of the people who help run those veteran organizations as well. So it's stretching the hand across the oceans both ways, having some fun and doing some good. And as you said, so many people are fascinated with High Clear Castle, but you're in a very unique position of actually living there. What's it like to live there? Well, I think one of the best things in the world and the most privileged thing in the world is to actually open the shutters in the morning because the landscape around it is so beautiful. And so much of Downton is shot in the grounds from riding the horses or the hunt scene or picnics or stuff like that. So I thought we'll turn on and have some picnics, which we do as a family, and, and go to places you can't access. It's sort of money can't buy type of prizes for a bit of fun. Yeah, you mentioned the landscaping, but what is your favorite part of the castle? Well, I love the library because I love books and there's about 6,000 books in there. On the other hand, the dining rooms become pretty well known, but we do in fact eat very well in the dining room. I love the drawing room with the piano, so the answer is I guess I'm spoilt for choice. There's two or 300 rooms I'd have to choose from. Okay, well thank you very much for joining us, Lady Carnarvon. The auction runs through August 14th on Christie's.com.